My mom played tennis when she was a kid, and this was hers. So her mom gave her this when she was 16 years old, and for Christmas, my mom gave it to me. Isn't that cool? A little tennis racket. A little tennis racket. All right, are you ready? Oh, she loves it. Okay. So we're gonna work on volleys, okay? And the good news is, you already know how to do a lot of what we're gonna do today. We're gonna start off getting to use this awesome thing on your hand, okay? And what you're gonna do is we're gonna work on forehand volleys first, okay? We're gonna work on your footwork, your stepping, and then what, on volleys, Lizzie, let me ask you a question. Do we swing at the ball on volleys? When we're hitting volleys, do we swing at them? No, right? What do we do instead? Instead of swinging at them, what do we do on volleys instead? Do we punch them? Yeah, we kind of punch them, right? So what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna hold this up like that out in front of you, because it's important that we put our arm way out in front of us, and you're gonna freeze when you catch the ball, right? Because notice, like when you catch the ball with this, do you go like this? No. No, right? And so when you catch the ball with this, you go like this. So let's put it on your right hand, okay? Good, put your thumb out, there we go. Put both feet in the circles. Okay, this foot is gonna step when you catch it. So you're gonna hold it out like this, okay? When you go to catch it, show me the step you're gonna make. Okay. Show me it. Good, all right. Now I'll wear one too, because you get to throw it back to me, okay? Are you ready? So you're gonna push your arm out a little farther out like this. Yeah, just like that. Kind of up like this. See that? Okay. Right when I throw it, when you catch it, you step and catch. Catch. Good job. Now rip it off and throw it to me. Now, this is going to be fun. You normally don't throw with this arm, do you? No. No, so you're going to get to practice throwing with your left arm. Okay, ready? Good job. Okay, ready? Push your arms out. Look how far out I'm pushing my arm. Good. Now you want it, yeah, just like that. That's excellent. Now you're going to step and catch it. Ready? Step. What did, tell me what you forgot. A step. The step. So throw it back to me. Let's try it again. Show me if you can make the correction on this one. Left-handed throw. Left-handed throw. Show me. That was really good. Okay, push your arm out. Right when you, right when you trap it, you're going to step. Ready? Eyes on the ball. Eyes on the ball. Ready? Step. Did you do it? Now, so what? You missed it, right? But you did the step. Can you grab it and throw it back? No. Nah. Lefty throw. Look at that, every time. Push your arm out. Ready, we're gonna step and catch it. Ready, step, catch. Good job. See how you're not moving the arm at all. That's exactly how a volley is gonna be hit. So let's do two more and then we're gonna get the racket. Okay? okay. The way that you're catching this, see, thrush. Whoop, that's why I have another one. Watch how, I'll, I'll show you my volley, ready? Oh, it's here, ready? Okay, ready? Push your arms out. Good. You're going to step and catch it. Step and catch it. Yes. One more. Right here, lefty throw. Good job. Okay, ready? Push your arm out. Push your arm out. Last one. Push your arm out. There we go. Good. You're going to step. Step and up. Oh. Let's try again. Ready? Push your arm out. Eyes are here. Eyes are here. Ready? You're going to step and catch. Almost. Let's do one more. I want to see that step. Show me that awesome step. Ready? Push your arm out. Ready? Step. Oh, that was excellent. Okay. Now let's go put this stuff back. Okay? Get your racket. Thank you. Okay, get your racket now, okay? And she said that you guys have this at home, right? I could do it clean just a okay. ago. Okay, great. So this is a good one to do on both sides. So whenever they catch, they make sure you try both sides. It's always the opposite leg. And then that's just mimicking the volley and how little we want them to do. Okay, you ready? So you're gonna hit a forehand volley now with the exact same form. You're gonna pretend, so hold your racket out like this. Okay, this hand comes off. Pretend this is the Velcro, right? And the ball's gonna stick right here. That's what you're gonna pretend. So all you're gonna do is catch it like this and hold it firm while you're stepping. Are you ready? You're just gonna go, hold. Exactly, ready, do it again. 
Push your arm out a little more. Good, and like, a and we'll fiddle with the grip in a little bit, but right here, okay? Ready, we're gonna step and punch, eyes on the ball. Ready? That was excellent, do it again. Push your arm out a little more in front, good. So you wanna be able to, your eyes, you need to be able to see the back of your strings. You see that? Okay, ready? Give me this step, and let's see, how about this? Can you try to make it in the basket? Mm. Same thing, ready? Push your arm out, good. We're gonna step. Now, that was a good hit. What did, do we forget the step on that one? No. Maybe. Let's try again. Show me the step. Ready? Step. Good, that was better than the basket. Ready? Push your arm out. Step and punch. Good. Look how, see how small you're doing? Very little. That's exactly what I want. Volleys, volleys are not like this. Right? Volleys are like this. Uh, right? uh. See how small that is? Right? Let's go three more. Okay, and then we'll look at your grip a little bit. Show me the step and punt. Ooh, that was a good hit. Show me the step, ready? Step, good, try, do it again, two more. Push your arm out a little more in front. Can you see the back of your strings right now? Oh, but now you can, see how you adjusted it? See how you pushed it out here? Good, ready, two more. Show me the step when you punch it. Show me the step right here. Those are great hits. Can you show me the step with the hit? There it is. So, this is a great way to just start it off. We're not worried about the grip. We're just trying to focus on tapping it like that, right? But now, we're gonna do it, we're gonna make it that next level, right? Do you wanna put this on your wrist all the way? You wanna put it over here? No. No, okay. So, show me ready position. Show me zero, awesome. Now, what I wanna do is we're gonna try to hold the grip lower. Now. When you're learning volleys, it is okay to hold it way up here when you're learning volleys. Do you know why? Do you feel more stable? Do you feel like you have more control when you're holding it up there like that? Good. So when you're learning the volley, it's okay if we hold it higher. And then as we get better at the volley, we start to hold it lower. Okay? The grip we want to use, we want to use a handshake grip. So imagine you're giving the racket a handshake, right? Give me a handshake. Right? Ready? Give the racket a handshake. That's your volley grip, okay? Now, because that grip's kind of uncomfortable right now, we can hold it a little higher like this, okay? Boom. Okay, you see that? I know you wanna change it because it doesn't feel good. My, my coaches used to duct tape my hand to the racket so I couldn't move it. We won't do that today. So, we're gonna try with the, the new grip, holding it up a little higher for help. We're gonna do the same exact drill where you're stepping and punching, but you can't move your hand. You I mean, don't lose this grip, right? Are you ready? Let's do three really good ones. Try to aim for the basket. Push your hand out. Good, now you have to be able to see the back of your strings. How do you see the back of your strings? <gasps> see what you just did on your own? Right there, good. Here it comes, you're gonna step and punch it. Ready, go. You did it with the new grip. That's awesome, let's do it again. Good, step in, right to my hand. Show me that step. Good, ready, show me that step. Good, Are, can you see the back of your strings right now? There, ready, step and punch. Yes, do it again. Push your arms out so you can see the back of your string. Good, now eyes here. That was your best one. Can you give me two more like that? Show me. Push your arm out so you can see it. Good, excellent, ready, go. Oh, one more, ready, eyes on it. Step and punch, good. I'm gonna make it a little tougher now. Do you see that every time we're increasing the difficulty, right? Okay. I was tossing them to you, right? Now I'm gonna hit them to you. Are they gonna come faster? Yeah. Okay, so what's the, what's the grip? How do we find the grip for the volley? What do we do to our racket? We give our racket a handshake? Good, and, and remember when we're working on our volley, is it okay to hold it higher right now? Yeah. Yes, okay? So same thing. I want you to be able to see the back of your strings. Be able to see the back of your strings. You're still aiming for my basket. Okay, this time I'm gonna feed it. Are you ready? Stepping and punching. Push your hand out so you can see the back of your strings. Good, Norm yes, normally we'll start from ready, but for today, we can start from right there. Okay, ready? We're gonna step, punch. Did you step or we forget? Ready? We forget. Push your arms out. Show me the strings. Good. Now step and punch. Better, you did your feet that time. Push your strings out so you can see the back of them. Set your racket. 
Yeah. See? You corrected yourself. I didn't help you at all. Ready? Step, punch. Let's do a bunch of those. Are you ready? Push your hands out. Good. Step, punch. Do it again. Ready? Step, punch. Yes. Do it again. Step, punch. Did you see how hard you hit that? You know what's awesome? You hit that really hard, but did you swing? No. No. But did you still hit it hard? You know why you hit it hard? Because you're doing that step. That step forward is your power, right? So watch. I'm not going to move my racket at all. Look, look. It's my step, right? Boom, with the power. Okay. Handshake grip. Make sure the grip is right. Are you good? Okay, now see the back of your strings. You're going to see the back of your strings. Good. Push your hands out. Good. We're going to step and punch. Do it again. Ready? Step and punch. Yes, do it again. Step and punch. I love that. Give me three more like that. Ready? Step, punch. That's so good. Step, punch. Step, punch. Yes! One more. Match point. Oh, wow. Give me a racket high five. You just crushed those. Okay, so you know what's fun is the backhand volley is the same movement. What's different about the backhand volley though? Are you, what did you do? This one is higher and this one is lower. Yeah, so for right now, you're gonna hold two hands on the backhand volley. Okay. Do you see professional players though? Do you ever see them hitting the volley with one? Yeah. Eventually you'll learn that, right? But in the beginning, we're gonna learn with two hands on it. Now, is this hand still shaking the grip? No. Yes. This hand still shakes the grip. This hand comes on just like you did it like that. Now watch, can you see the back of your strings? Yes. Yes, this is how I want you to set. Now, which foot is gonna step for the backhand volley? Excellent. Now, are we gonna swat it or swing or are we just gonna tap it? Tap it. Good, you're still trying to make it and in the basket. Sing it. <laughs> okay, still gonna make it in the basket, ready? Eyes here, step, punch. Good try, good try, ready? Step, punch, ooh, ready? Step, punch. You want your step to go first before the hit. So watch, step hit. Are you uh, ready? St yes! You'll see a lot of times you're gonna wanna reach for the ball with a racket like this, but you know what my motto is? Feet first. If you take your feet to the ball, is your racket gonna be there to hit? No. Yes, but it's, you're learning that today. You don't know that, right? So. Does this start before the punch? No. Yes. This starts stepping before the punch. Show me if you understand what I mean. Ready? Step, punch. Almost. Ready? Step, punch. Do it again. Ready? Step, punch. Again. Step, punch. See how that step's a little late, right? Your hit is beautiful. I don't want you to change your hit at all. I just want you to step here before you hit that ball. Are you ready? It's kind of almost at the same time. Ready? Go. Yes! You did it. Ready? Yeah. Off the target. Ready? Yeah, good try. Ready? Three more. Go. Did you swat it? Yeah. Yeah, so we gotta remember, just catch it. Nice tap. Good hit. Ready? Two more. Oh yeah, right to me. One more. There, that last step was really good. So, next level. <laughs> I'm gonna feed it to you with my racket now. Are you ready? Get in your good position with your, you can see the back of your strings. I want you to be able to see the back of your strings for the backhand volley. Good, show me how, yes. Ready, step, hit. It's okay, did we just get mixed up on the foot? Yeah. Let's try again, ready? Step, punch. Did you fix it though? Yeah. You did, good, ready? We're gonna step, punch. Oh, ow, oh, man. You didn't even swing and that was so hard. Ready? Push your strings out. Punch. You hit me twice in a row. Ready? Step. Punch. Do it again. Ready? Step. Punch. Ooh, way to protect your face. Ready? Step. Punch. Did you forget your step? Was it a really good hit though? Yes. Show me that good hit with the step. Oh, that was awesome. Ready? Oh, good try. Ready? Four more. Give me your best. 
step, punch. Ooh, that was a fun one. Step, punch. Ooh, ready. Step. Oh, we forgot. I rushed you. Ready? Two more. Step, punch. Oh, that was so good. One more. Match point. One more. One more. That was the first one you missed like that. Ready? Yes. Before we finish and get a sip of water, we're going to go next level up. Stay here. We're going to do one more thing. You're going to alternate. So show me a forehand volley. Show me a forehand volley. Push your strings out so you can see the back of your strings. Can you see the back of your strings? Now you can. Which foot are you going to step with? Show me. Excellent. Ready? Good. Now backhand. Which foot are you going to step with? Backhand volley. It's always the opposite leg. So that side. Yes. Ready? Step. Punch. Now go back to forehand. Push your strings out so you can see the back of your strings. Good. Step and punch. Do it again. Step and punch. Okay. Other foot. Other foot. Show me again. Which foot's going to step? Yes. Here it comes. Push your strings out so you can see the back of your strings. Here it comes. Step. Punch. Good. Now backhand volley. Show me which foot's going to step. Yes. Here it comes. Oh my goodness. Forehand volley. Yes. Backhand volley. Oh, that's so hard on your brain. Ready? Forehand volley. Strings. Good. Step. Oh, oh, we got confused. Do it again. You know what you shot you just hit that you'll eventually learn? You just hit a swinging forehand volley. There's actually a volley that you'll learn how to swing it, but that's not till later when you're older. No. Are you ready? Last two. I want to see the right step each time. Okay? Show me so you can see the back of your strings. Good. Step. Punch. Excellent. Now backhand volley. Backhand volley. Step. I almost made it in. Racket high five. You just crushed all of that. Get some water. Very good. So with little ones and volleys, I've noticed that some, some coaches don't like teaching volleys too early. But for me, I feel like, again, the earlier they can kind of master some of these foundational concepts, the better. With volleys, you know, kids, they love to just want to swat and swing. They don't understand the concept of just punching and using their, their step. So we start off with that Velcro ball, and she's able to understand the concept of catching it because when she catches it, she goes like this, versus when she wants to hit the ball, she might do this. Then we put the racket in her hand so she understands the concept of how to meet that ball. And then the, the markers on the, the ground, again, it's the visual cue for them to understand where that foot needs to go when it steps. And the timing is the big thing is you want them to have the foot lead them to the ball so that they're not going bracket and then step. And then the other thing is at the end, I challenged her by alternating quickly. Her brain had to remember which foot was stepping each time. And at that age, that can be really confusing and, and hard. And she did really well at that. If, she were to be struggling with that, I would make her remind me every time, okay, which foot's going to step? And I'd make her like shake the foot, right? Right before, shake the foot so she remembers which foot's going. Um, but volleys at this age can be really great because it's a confidence booster. If they, they're really close to the net, they can make a lot of balls. So I think it's something that we should be teaching them because it's, it just adds more fun to it for them. All right. I'll bring it in. Reel it in. I'm pretty sure we have like a Paw Patrol one of those at home. I love it. Are you gonna actually go fishing with it? Yeah. Yeah? Or are you gonna just fish for imaginary fish? Well, this thing. Yeah? On here is a fish. Oh, that's so cool. I love that you're just so dynamic. You do so many things, Lizzie. She's what we call a, the sportsman, right? <laughs> Oh, okay, no more, because we gotta go out with our racket. Okay. Get your racket. Okay, so since we just did volleys, I would love to continue to do volleys, but add some forehands to it too. So what we're gonna learn how to hit is called an approach shot, okay? And what that is, let's say you're, you and I are hitting, okay? You and I are hitting over the net. And what if I give you a short ball and you have to run up and hit it and it brings you towards the net? 
What do you think the next shot that you're going to hit is? A volley or a forehand if you're close to the net? A volley. A volley. So I'm going to start off by giving you a short ball. You're going to run to it with your forehand. You're going to hit it like a normal forehand. Then you're going to come and you're going to jump in the circles and you're going to hit two volleys. And then I might surprise you with an overhead. What's an overhead? Go over. Yeah, I toss it up here nice and high. Okay. So let's do it like this. Okay, this is your starting point, all right? I'm gonna, you're gonna get set for me. I'm gonna make you start like this. I'm gonna make you start in one, got it? I'm gonna toss it way up there though. So can I see your racket? Okay, I'm gonna run to the ball in one, watch. Running up, you see how I'm running up? See how my arms stay like this and I'm running forward? And then I'm gonna hit, and then I'm gonna come to here and I'm gonna jump. Yeah, I know. Okay, good. I know you know. Good job. All right. Start in the circles. Get into one. Get into your one position. Good. You're going to run forward in that position. Ready? Go. Run, 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 run. Now, you could have gone quicker and gotten on one bounce. So go back. Ready? Okay, one. Get in your one. Okay, you're gonna run forward quick. One bounce, ready, go. Run, 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 hit. Good, now jump where? Jump. Forehand volley. Back of your strings. Good, step and punch. Now back, oh, okay, well, you, know, you want an overhead or no? Well, I thought so, you want an overhead. Rack it up like this, nice and high in the air. Ready, smack it out of the air. Do it again, ready, smack it out of the air. That's it. Go back, you get three balls every turn, okay? So you're in zero, now show me one. You're gonna run in that position, ready? Hustle, go, 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 hit! Come in, jump! Forehand volley. Yes? Are you able to see the back of your strings? Now you are, ready, step, punch. Show me a good step this time, ready? Step, show me a step. Which foot? Yes, now see the back of your strings. Good, and now watch the ball. Watch the ball right here. Good, ready, step and punch. Good, now overhead, ready? Smack it. Good try, do it again. Smack it out of the air. Yes, back of the line. Okay, you're in zero, you look great. I didn't even tell you to go into one and you're ready. Can you hold the bottom of your grip more? You look amazing. Now you're gonna run in one. Ready? Run, 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 run. Did you take too long to run? Yeah. Let's try again. Zero, one. Ready? Go, run, 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 hit. Now, that was a great hit. Could you have gotten that on one bounce? Yeah. Yes. All right, let's try again. One. Ready? Run, 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 run. Good, come in, jump, jump. Forehand volley, where's the strings? Good, step and punch. Did you show me your step? Ready, show me your step. Yes, now overhead for the win. Do it again. Overhead for the win. Yes, back it up. How about this time, I'm gonna say nothing. Okay. So go on another one? Yeah. Ready? I didn't tell you anything that drill, and you did everything you were supposed to do. High five. You want to do it again without me saying anything? Yeah. Go back. Let's see it. <laughs> okay. Zip. Amazing, go back. Okay, two more sets, okay? Okay. Still, you still want me to be quiet? You yeah. wanna do it all on your own? Yeah. Let's see it.
Can we start again? Yeah. You know what I loved about that? Is you hustled so fast to try to get it on one bounce, and that's exactly what I want. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet, ready? One more time, one more time. Match point. Okay, last one, best one. Oh, you're already ready. Oh, okay. Match point. Let's go. One more, match point. Smack it! How fun was that? Cool! That was so cool. So you were able to put together so many different pieces there on your own. You remembered how to set up for your forehand properly. You remembered how to run forward with your racket ready to hit. Yes? At home, we made a carnival puzzle. A carnival puzzle? Yeah. That sounds super fun. My brother helped me. Yeah? Sounds like your brother's a really good brother. Does he play with you a lot? Yeah. That's super He's nice. He's a tennis pro. Oh, totally. He's Alex. Alex the tennis pro? Yeah. He's pretty good, huh? He, now. Has, he has to give that tennis pro to someone else. Oh, yeah? He's not going to stop. Good. Put your racket down. I need you to fill your racket with... See all those balls behind you? I need all those orange balls on your racket. Ready, set, go. Okay. So this was fun because we're able to show now how I can not say anything to her. And she, like we go through the drill a few times with me giving all the verbal cues. And then I give her the challenge of, can you do it without me saying anything? And when they can, the conf you can see the confidence just build in them. And it makes them excited. Like, oh, I got this, right? What I love about this drill is that we're combining different different aspects at the same time. So we're I'm letting her be set in this position already because what I'm what's new to her is being able to be in this position and run forward and stay in this position. Most of the time a kid when they run forward they're going to face forward with their body. They're not used to upper body here. I, I have the ballroom dancer analogy. Ballroom dancers are always set in their beautiful position up top, and then their legs are going nuts down below. It's the same as tennis players. Tennis players are set, we're really positioned. We're not all wobbly up here when we're running. So she's learning how to be still, and then run forward and be able to hit that ball while she's still moving, which is a whole another thing that we haven't really worked on before. And then we have her come forward to the circles and jump into the circles, emulating the split step, which she has no concept of that yet, but that's fine. But she gets that jump, and then she instantly knows to see the back of her strings on the volley. And when she didn't, when she was back here, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything. I would pause. And then she would realize, oh, she's waiting for me so that I can see the back of my strings. Give her the little step and punch that we just drilled. And then, for fun, something like throwing a ball super high in the air for an overhead smash, right? I don't care how she does it as long as she makes contact with the ball. It's just a fun shot for them to learn. And when they pair it all together, when they're able to go forehand approach, split, forehand volley, overhead, there's so much happening in that moment for them. They feel like they're really the full package as they're playing. So I thought she did very well with that. Now, what I would like to do is this drill on the backhand side now. Do you think we can do that? Where you get a backhand approach, Backhand volley, and then an overhead. Are you gonna wanna do that? Okay, so once you get 10 more balls, I need 10 more balls, okay? When I looked at my brother, I was so weird. It was so weird, yeah. I are, was you, like, are you proud of him for winning? That's pretty he, cool. He won a trophy. Yeah, that's what's fun about winning is you get cool trophies, huh? All right, do you think you wanna play tournaments like that one day? Yeah. Ooh. All right. One day I'm going to give my brother some toys from my room. Wow, that's super sweet of you. Super sweet. Now, do you need water before we start or are you ready to go? I need some water. Get a sip of water. And then we're going to start with the backhand. So now we'll do the backhand approach. So we'll make her have to get set in that set position. 
Her feet are gonna run forward, but her body's gonna stay like this. She's gonna hit and keep moving. Give me the split step and then backhand volley with the step and then an overhead. All right, are you ready now? You're fueled up? Go back to the circles. No. Okay, so show me one for your backhand. Can you point your strings to that fence more? Good, put your hands together more. Good, I'm gonna make one little tweak here. So go back to zero, go back to zero. When you take your racket back, do your toes turn too or do they stay there? What do you think? Do your turn. So zero, show me zero. Show me your turn for your backhand. What did your toes do? Did they swivel? Yeah. That's good, right? So every time now, when you go into that one position, I have to hear your feet do that. What? One time, mom has to share her stuff. Yeah. She's not sharing anything. Or her treadmill. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We have a treadmill. You have a treadmill. Those are kind of dangerous, though. All right, you ready? Well, I know how to you turn know. it now. Yeah. OK, so show me zero. I know how to turn it on. You do? Do you know how to turn it off in case of emergency? Oh, you got to know that too. I have a stop sign button. Okay, so you do know where that is. Okay. All right, show me zero. Show me your backhand turn. One. Every time you, I want to hear your feet. Got it? Okay. Are you going to keep your racket like that as you run forward? Yes. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Zero. One. Good. Run forward. Run forward. Run forward. Good. Do it again. Start again. First one. We're figuring it out, right? Remember, right when I throw it, you got to start running. So zero, one, one, run forward, run forward, run forward. Good, you almost did it, go back. You'll get it, it takes a few to figure it out, okay? One, good, run forward, run forward, run forward. Now, that was a great hit. Can you keep running, don't stop. So keep running as you're hitting, are you ready? One, ready, run, don't stop, run, don't stop. Come in, come in, come in. Jump, split, show me backhand volley with the step. That was a great hit. Which foot's going to step right now? Hey, yeah. Yes. Now ready, backhand volley. Step and punch. Good. Now overhead. Ready? Smack it out of the air. One more. Ready? Smack it out of the air. One more. Finish at your pocket. Ready? Just like a serve. Oh, do it again. Ready? That, did you finish at your pocket though? That was excellent. Ready? Oh, back it up. <laughs> <laughs> That was really good. So one, <coughs> one. Now you're not going to stop running. Are you ready? Run, 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 run. Come in, come in, come in. Split, jump, step and punch. Good, overhead. Big swing to your pocket. Oh, give me a high five for that one. Go back. One more time and then I'm not going to say anything. Okay, okay. so zero, <laughs> one. Good, we're gonna run like that. Run, 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 hit. Come in, come in. Split. Did you jump? Yeah. Jump. Good, now backhand volley. Set your strings. Can you see them? There we go. Step and punch. Show me the step, ready? Step and punch. Oh, yes, overhead. Ready, all the way to your pocket. Yes, back it up. Guess what? I'm gonna be silent here, ready? Zip. You want to try again? Yeah. That was actually really close. Yeah. Go do it again. That was so, that looked so good, Lizzie. Okay, ready? That backhand approach you hit was so good. Go back and do it again. Do you want me to do another where I don't say anything? Yeah. Do you think you can do it on your own? Yeah, I think. Okay. Do it again.
My, this is sticking out. Don't stick it. Go back. That was such a good swing. Such a good swing. Do it again. Such a good swing. Do it again. You are right, girl. Even though you missed those three, I'm so happy because your footwork, your swing, everything's great. You just didn't hit it. Okay? If we keep doing that, are we going to make them? Yeah. Yeah. We'll get it. We're going to get it. Ready. It's tough because you have to switch your grip, don't you? Because you hit a back in volley. Do you have to switch your grip a little here? Yeah. Do a back in volley again. Wow. Whoa! Back it up. That was awesome. Last one. Last one. Move that ball. I want to see if we can maybe do a couple rallies before we finish, okay? Okay. And I want to do some fruit salad. Okay. Again, so good. Back it up. Maybe the thing that you need to do is make sure you're really watching the ball with your eyes. Like, watch the ball when you run. Okay? Ready? I am so proud of you. I love that the drills we did today, I was able to let you do them on your own and you were doing it really well. Those backhands on the run, those look so great and we haven't really done a lot of that. So excellent job. All right, so here's what I want. Pick up the circles for me, okay? Bring them to the net and then we're gonna try to rally a little. Okay. Good, that's, that's great. Um, so on the backhand, the example of when she swung and missed four in a row, running forward for the backhand, right? What I loved about it is her footwork never stopped. Her swing looked really good. She didn't hit it over. She didn't touch the ball or whatever. But as a coach, I'm sitting there going, hey, 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 those are good misses right now, trying to instill in them that sometimes we can make an, a mistake, a miss, but still take something really good from it. And it encouraged her to keep trying and trying instead of getting defeated. So she was getting more pumped up rather than upset, which leads to better play, right? Well, um, where she, again, was great is I didn't have to give her the cue. She knew to swivel and turn, and that if she did that, I was gonna give her the short ball. And she did a very good job of not stopping her feet and running forward. That's why I love having the circles, because after she hits that short backhand as she's running forward, she knows to continue running to the circles to split step for the volley. So, um, I think that was, that was pretty much it for that. So let's go ahead and rally, okay? okay. I'll bring out some red balls. So our, our, record, our record last time was eight. Yeah. So our, our goal should be nine. <laughs> our goal should be nine, right? Yeah. All right. Ah, these circles are here. You can move them. Okay, show me ready position. One, good hit. Ooh, good strike. All the way over that shoulder to finish. One, two. Even I miss. Ready. One. We were watching tennis today. You were at one, two. Good try, back it up. Ready. One, two, go, 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 sit. Did you touch it? Yeah. Good job. So my, listen, one of the best things my coach ever told me as a kid was never let the ball bounce twice. Even if you touch it, you're succeeding. I don't have to make it, I just have to touch it before it bounces twice. Ready. 
One, good swing over that shoulder. One, uh, uh. winner. Winner, One, winner, two, chicken dinner. go. Three, four. Did you forget you had a backhand? Yeah. Remember, after every shot, put both hands back on the grip. Are you ready? Here it comes. One. Oh my. Winner. Can't get that. One. Two. Good job, Lizzie. Lizzie, good job. Ready. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Eyes here. Love the swing. Love the swing. Good try. Again. One. Two. Ooh. Now, the next time we work, I think this is what we're gonna be what we work on, which is when the ball is high, Lizzie, Lizzie, if the ball's way up here, are you gonna have to back up or move forward? Back up. Back up. So we'll start learning how to see, oh, the ball's high, I gotta back up. Can I give you a high one? Yeah. Can you try to back up? Yeah. That is excellent. That is excellent. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Get back. Zero. Come on, ready position. Okay. Look how you backed up. You created all the space. Yeah, it bounced multiple times. Who cares, right? You hit a good shot, and then the next ball, did you get it on one bounce? Yeah. Did you also hit it from way back there? Very good. Remember this one thing right now. After every shot, put both hands back on the grip. So show me a forehand right now. Show me a forehand. Swing. Show me your forehand. Right when you're done, what does that other hand do? Good. Let's go back. I'm going to be over here. Okay. Ooh, you got a piece of it. Let's go. Yeah, you got a piece. Good try. Good try. Ready. Yes. One. Two. Ooh, go so close. Ready. One. That was so good. Over my head, good. Ready. One. Get back. Ready position. Two. Go get it. Go get it. Do you have a backhand? If it's way over here on this side, should you hit a forehand or a backhand? I could do that. I, okay. The shot you just hit is called an inside out forehand, but I want you to hit a backhand on this side. Ready? If it comes over here, backhand. Yes. Ready, back. Couple more. One, two, three. Oh man. Get back. That was so close. Here it comes. Hey, was that a pretty close swing though? Yeah. And it was off the it was first a bounce. Cool spin. Yeah, here we go. One. Nice shot. Ready. Go, go, go. Do it again. Give me one more good rally. One more. Go, 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 go. Do it. Oh, yeah. Two, go. Three. Oh, no. Four. Oh, good try. Match point. Ready? Match point. Give me your best. Oh, there it is. Winner over my head. That's how you want to finish the lesson. I have a couple balls to do fruit salad with you. Just a couple, okay? okay. Show me that volley now, because you know how to do volleys, right? One step back. <coughs> one step back. You get one round of fruit salad. What Kay. fruit are you going to be? I'm going to be orange. Orange. Show me that you can see the back of your strings orange. Ready? Orange. Which foot? Orange. 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 Show me your backhand volley, orange. 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 Fruit salad! See ya! See ya! She knows it. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya. <laughs> you gotta come forward, girl. <laughs> Don't be scared, come on. 
I've got three balls left, that's it. Match point! Oh! Okay, your job, are you ready, is to hit all the balls into that corner. Okay. So take your racket and do this. Kick them all into the corner. Okay. Good job. That's easy. So with the, the rallies, you know, we're, we used to only rally with foam balls and now we're rallying with the red ball. So it's a heavier, t it, it's less time for her to get to the ball. And today was the day that she did better with the no double bounces, like a couple of double bounces, but not as many. I think when she goes to rally, she's starting to realize, you, you, well you as a parent can start to realize that movement is a big thing. She can look really good hitting ground strokes when the ball is tossed to her, but then when you have to run, everything breaks down, right? And that's why I'm very big on this age, learning how to move to the ball, whether it's reading the ball, like explaining to her, hey, if the ball's really high over the net, you have to know you're in your brain, hey, I should back up. Learning those little things will help her a lot so that she can get into position early for the ball. I think the next progression for her is gonna be recognizing the ball being high and backing up. Today we worked on coming forward and she did very well with that. Um, and then just the quickness off of the block, right? So right when you see the ball, her getting to push off a little quicker. Um, so like the rallies, what's great for me as a coach, in the rallies, I see all the weak points. I'm like, oh, okay, that's the area that we need to work on next. If I don't do those rallies with her, it's tough because you kind of get a false sense of what they can actually do or can't do. Um, so I think she's really progressing well with the red balls now in the rallies and I will continue to make her move more and more to kind of gauge her space better, making sure she's getting there quickly. Um, but overall, I think that's pretty much it. That was pretty good.